Well, one fan, well, the game is a moment he'll never forget. We told you about Colby Murray last weekend when his car broke down on the way to the Dallas game and his request for help went viral. We made it halfway to Dallas, halfway there from the Texas throwdown. The Ford broke down. So now I'm stranded at the pilot. I'm back to 178, I'm 45. Roughnecks, I need to get to W first. Well, he did get to see the Roughnecks today. ABC 13's Nick Natario is live with how he got the VIP treatment during the game. Nick? Instead of watching the game at home on ABC 13, he finally made it here to watch a game. You know, when he shared the video on social media, he thought, okay, maybe the team will just simply like his tweet. Never did he think he would make so many magical, memorable moments today. Colby Murphy is quickly becoming a Roughnecks fan favorite. It's not because of his double fisting hard hat, oil worker jumper, or loud voice. It's because of what happened to his vehicle. We made it halfway to Dallas, halfway there for the Texas throwdown. The Ford broke down. He shared this video to social media after car troubles prevented him from making it to the Roughnecks game. The team saw it and tried to get him to Dallas. Unfortunately, I was in such a small town, there was no Uber or Lyft drivers. So I just called a friend, got home, sold the truck to a guy in Buffalo. Murray didn't get to Dallas, but he did get to a Roughnecks game. The team hooked him up with tickets to today's game. We're at the 40-yard line, perfect height. These seats are the best. The Roughnecks also shared his story on the Jumbotron, and they even gave Murray pregame sideline passes. This is awesome. I love it. Everything about this is incredible. It's an ending Murray never saw coming after his vehicle broke down on the way to the Roughnecks' last game. After receiving this kind of treatment, Murray says the team might have finally found its mascot. The Roughnecks have provided me with the best entertainment and everything I could imagine. I love the Roughnecks. Better than losing a vehicle. Yes! Yeah, we love him. He's a lot of fun, and uh, we're glad that he got to finally make it out to a game. But, you know, there was a serious note here at the game today. Uh, the, uh, like the Astros, the Roughnecks are also... Uh, dealing with the coronavirus, the XFL as a whole. In fact, a list of recommendations came down from the XFL to the players about autographs and uh, high-fiving with fans. Coming up tonight on Eyewitness News at 10, we actually talked to several players. We're going to tell you what they think and, and uh, you know, how they're going to tackle this whole situation, especially when they're traveling to Seattle in just a few weeks. Live from TDECU Stadium, Nick Dottario, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.